Hi! Today, we're trying something new. Instead of you having to read my newsletter, I figured let me uh, post a video. This way, all you have to do is listen. Hopefully, you'll find the information interesting. I would love your feedback because you know my mission is to motivate you to become the best version of yourself. And today, I want to share an article with you that I am so super excited about, and I just want to say I told you so. Okay, so one of my boot campers, Marie Lopresti, shared an amazing article with, with us from Time Magazine. So this um, article, the headline goes, Doctors, researchers, scientists, even ancient philosophers have long claimed exercise works like a miracle drug. Now they have proof. This is so exciting. So Dr. Mark Tarnopolsky, he is a genetic metabolic neurologist, discovered some incredible facts about exercise. So what he says is the most effective therapy available to my patients right now is exercise. He claims that many positive changes occur throughout the body during and right after a workout. Going for a run, listen to this, is going to improve your skin health, your eye health, and your gonadal health. I'm actually not sure what that is, but he says it's unbelievable. If there were a drug that could do for human health everything that exercise can, it would be the most valuable pharmaceutical drug ever developed. However, only 20% of Americans get the recommended 150 minutes per week needed to meet those um, strength and cardio, uh, cardiovascular physical demands or activity per week. Um, so that means 80.2 million of Americans over the age of six are mostly inactive. So that's the bad news. People with low levels of physical activity are at higher risk for many different kinds of cancer, heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, and even early death. So long before that, inactivity can worsen arthritis symptoms, increases of lower back pain, and inactivity also leads to depression and anxiety. Uh, not to mention a sallow complexion. And who wants that? So the health benefits, unfortunately, of exercise have not been communicated effectively enough. So uh, it makes sense that Americans aren't motivated because of that. Um, we humans are motivated by rewards. So when we know that exercise promotes slower aging, better mood, less chronic pain, stronger vision, and the list actually goes on and on, I think we could become more motivated to exercise. So it used to be that physical, um, physical activity was measured only for super athletes, you know, um, Olympic athletes and things like that. But today, they, they, we understand that physical activity is important for all of us. Um, so now they are even saying that the future looks, looks the way that physical activity will actually get, get prescribed. The doctor in the future supposedly will not just say to you, hey, exercise more, but there will be an actual prescription. Hello. That's where personal trainers, fitness experts come in. We know... Uh, based on your assessment, what kind of exercise you need, how much the dose it should be, how many times a week you should be exercising to get all these benefits. So if you want help in um, figuring out how much exercise you need and what exactly to do, we're here to help you with that, of course, right? You don't need your doctor to prescribe it for you because the experts are right here in your back pocket. Now, the other thing is that actually... Um, and again, this is so common sense. The only two forms of exercise you need are cardiovascular training and strength training. And the really cool news here is that anything can be aerobic exercise. As long as you get your heart rate up and, um, you know, you're keeping it up for a while, whether that's done with high intensity interval training 
or even a walk, it doesn't matter. Both are cardiovascular exercises. Now, some people are motivated and get supercharged with high-intensity interval training. I'm one of those people. I would much rather get my workout done in 20 minutes and totally push my body to the limit where I feel super exhausted and be done in 20 minutes than have to go for an hour run or a walk. Now, other people might enjoy an hour walk more. And guess what? We both benefit from the same exact cardiovascular exercise. Now, guess what? Strength training can be anything from lifting weights or doing things like yoga and tai chi and raking leaves and uh, gardening and, you know, maybe even washing your car. So all those things are physical activity. Now, the only thing this article points out, again, that's a little bit negative, is that exercise will not help you lose weight. Or I should say, you can't out-exercise a bad diet. So if your number one goal with exercise is weight loss, um, I would tell you that you also need to tweak your food intake tremendously because uh, you just simply can't out-exercise a bad diet. And um, so just... To summarize this, um, they, by the way, people who already are sick or suffering from some type of diseases, this article says, whether it's type 2 diabetes or heart failure or even uh, people who, who suffered from strokes, all those people pregnant, I mean, not that pregnancy is a disease, but it used to be like, oh, you have to take it easy when you're pregnant. It isn't so. Everybody benefits tremendously from exercising. So it says here, even the sickest patients, um, so anybody who exercises can improve um, feelings, you know, if you're feeling depressed or anxiety or suffer from bad mood or low energy levels, you will benefit from exercising. And if you think um, this information is overwhelming and you're just not ready to get started or you just don't have 150 minutes per week, don't worry about it. I want you to start on a very small level. If you can do it for five minutes a day, then do it for five minutes a day. I promise you the compound effect of it, the repetition, if you're going to do it every day, you will benefit from exercise and all these um, all these promises will come true for you. Um, and don't think that you have to exercise in a fitness club with fancy equipment and, and fancy gear. I mean, you can certainly wear your little lemon pants. Um, the goal is to do it. Meet us at Christopher Morley Park for boot camp. Meet us on Saturday uh, morning for high-intensity interval training. MetaFit is my favorite. Or just come for a walk anytime you want. Um, you know, go into your backyard, rake some leaves, do some gardening, go wash your car, go play with your kids, whatever it is. The bottom line is exercise. It is the super drug of today. Thank you so much. Please share some feedback with me. How did you like the video versus having to read my newsletter? I hope you're motivated. I hope you're as excited as I am. And I want to see you working out.